party come move around cause the fresh fresh when the school is out when the booze is up when the sun is down the enjoy the ride that's what we lose in the Chevy yeah. All sorts of room in there. Oh, there we go. We'll take that though. The Red Dragon Peter Wright PL Premier League 15's darts review starts right now. What's up guys? Worldwide here. We have a great video for you today. Check this out. We'll be taking a close-up look at the Red Dragon Peter Wright Premier League 15's. Now, you may be wondering, why the heck am I reviewing these things now? They've been out on the market forever. Well, they are a really nice set of darts. I've been meaning to try these out forever for the longest time. So finally getting around to reviewing these things. But the main reason is because I was browsing over on Dart Shopper, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And if you have a look up here, they were less than 40 US dollars. For a set of Peter Wright darts, I thought that was a pretty good deal. And just to give you an example of how good of a deal that is, if I was to buy these same exact darts right here today on Amazon USA, have a look there. It would almost cost me 70 US dollars. So I'm getting these about 30% cheaper from Dart Shopper. And check this out, this is the game changer, guys. They use Federal Express International Shipping. So if I was to order, say, on a Sunday night, tonight is Sunday night. So if I was to order on a Sunday night, they would ship it out first thing Monday morning. I would probably get to my front doorstep on a Tuesday afternoon, probably a Wednesday afternoon at latest. So their shipping speed is just as quick as Amazon. It's a game changer, guys. Can't recommend Dart Shopper enough. Well, anyway, the link to these will be down in the pinned comment. Make sure you check them out and check out all the other Red Dragon darts because their prices are so much cheaper than they are here in the United States. It's just an awesome deal. So yeah, won't keep you waiting any longer. Let me grab the other camera here. We'll take a close up look over some stats and dimensions and then can't wait to get these things on the board. Incredibly grippy dart and uh, very narrow in the front end. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how these things fly. I'll test them out for a bit. And I'll give you some feedback as I'm doing that and I'll let you know what I think of the Red Dragon Peter Wright Premier League 15 darts. Here we go guys, should be a good one. Okay guys, we have the Red Dragon Peter Wright PL 15s. I really don't need to show you the box because this is the same box that pretty much all his darts come in nowadays, so we'll just toss that to the side. But the darts though, I mean, man, even though these things have been out for quite a few years now, that is a great, great dart. Look at that, you've got some aggressive grip, you've got the rainbow coated points on this end, and uh, you just can't go wrong because it's super affordable, as I pointed out in the intro. So what do you say we get a little bit closer look at these things, and we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go, fully assembled. And come on, guys, you've got to admit, this is a great-looking set of darts. You've got these rainbow-coated points that kind of match up with the flights. You've got the natural tungsten barrel. I mean, what's not to like here? But uh, yeah, look at the little closer look at the points. We've got the medium-length Nitrotech stems, as well as the standard size snake bite peter wright flights but running down some stats and dimensions here this is a 90 percent tungsten barrel the barrel length coming in at 50.8 millimeters long and the barrel width pretty much the whole entire back end of this barrel 6.6 .6 millimeters wide now these are advertised as 22 grams i put the first barrel on the scale came in a little bit light 21.94 grams the other two barrels 21.95 grams almost perfect match weighting i mean that's what we expect from red dragon but that is some excellent quality machining there and overall yeah just well done to red dragon but what do you say we get a little bit closer look at this incredibly grippy barrel okay let's get a little bit closer look at these barrels and see what we're dealing with here now looking at the front end i guess that's kind of where my attention immediately goes we got the three multi rings however look how tapered the entire front end is i mean we're almost talking like a stiletto type dart and you know what that means that means these darts are going to group so so tight in the board 
I mean, you know, right nearest to the point, we're probably dealing with something about 4.7 millimeters wide, right where the end of this barrel is. So yeah, super, super thin. And then we've got, of course, our razor grip. I mean, razor grip is going to be aggressive anyway. However, I mean, this isn't like, it isn't crazy sharp. I'll go ahead and give it a level four grip on a scale of one to five. And I think if you have soft hands, probably closer to a level four and a half grip on a scale of one to five. On the back end, we got the Red Dragon logo nearest to the stem. And then if we give it a little spin, 180 degrees, we have the Snakebite head logo. So, you know, if I did have one complaint, I mean, I'm not a fan of rainbow coating in general, but if you have a look there, there is quite a bit of a lip where the point meets the barrel. Easily rectified with a Trident 180 nose cone, although it doesn't look the best. Let me see if I can slide that on there real quick. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but job done right there. Trident 180s will definitely preserve these flights, and I will be using these for the throwing part of the video. However, I mean, if these were my match darts, I would probably slap on a set of, I don't know, Target Storm points, win more free flow points, or the Trident, or the uh, Red Dragon Trident points. And they come with a built-in metal nose cone, so that would be a little bit better. They're kind of on the short side as well. They only stick out of the barrel 26 millimeters in total. So yeah, I would definitely repoint these things. Other than that, though, beautifully natural tungsten barrel. Gotta love these things. So yeah, pretty excited to get these on the board, and I'm gonna use the entire stock setup as you see here. So yeah, let's get them on the board, see how they fly. Okay, let's see how this goes after a quick warm up, but let's have a few throws here. Oh, and hey, before I forget, I just found out that these coated or rainbow coated points, they hold in the board incredibly well. Nothing like a silver point at all. After my first couple of throws, I had to really give them a tug to free them from the dartboard. But yeah, they hold in the board really well. Let's see how this goes. Really grippy dart. So I have to remind myself to kind of throw gentle and hopefully not into the five segment like I did there. Good recovery on the second and third dart. I'll take that. A 125 to kick things off with. Oh, and if you want to see my grip, I don't know how well you can see it here. Point of finger and thumb, kind of right on that back section, the uh, back razor grip section. Definitely grippy though, a good, a good level four. Ah, right, left of the treble 20. How about one in the middle? Can I save it? Hmm, get in there. <laughs> Don't know why I'm so excited about a, what was it, a 78? I guess that's a, what is that, a poor man's 180? Or I forget what that's called. Treble one five and a treble 20. What is that called, by the way? something like a, maybe a poor man's bed and breakfast I forget something uh, bullseye 25 but yeah I mean these things are throwing really nice and I think with this combination of a medium stem as well as the standard size flights they seem to be standing up in the board quite a bit I throw them real gentle like that. They definitely stand up a lot more. Let's see if I can get under that one. Nope, right over the top. Oh, where'd that one go? 81. But yeah, really no complaints. Um, probably repoint these things. And uh, that's about it. I mean, I would use my own stems and flights preferably but i'm not really seeing too much wrong with these things as is wow yeah <laughs> those are flying nice 100 well there we go guys i'll call it a wrap right there i believe that was five throws so you know what's coming on this channel and hey look at my new red dragon Shirt, we got Red Dragon on the side. Things, what do we got on the back? I forget what's on the back. We got a pocket here as well, kind of nice. So I'm gonna keep this on while I entertain you with one more clip. You know what's coming. Hope you enjoy. Oh, all right, that second dart went in flat. Here comes the 
boom, get in there. Wow, all right. That was actually a nice right center left 180, perfectly in line. Okay, guys, there we go. Perfect place to end the video right there. And I'll tell you what, I really like this tapered front end on the barrel because when I had those first two treble 20s in the board or in, in the bed, there was so much room visually in the bed. I could have gone to the left. I could have gone right through the middle. I swear I could have fit another two darts in the treble bed. But there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look at the Red Dragon. Peter Wright, Snakebite, Premier League 15 darts. Again, the link will be down in the pinned comment. That's going to take you over to Dart Shopper. Check out these darts as well as all the other Red Dragon darts, especially if you're in the United States. I mean, you're going to save a ton of money. So again, yeah, link will be down in the pinned comment. And um, that's it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.